How's it going, everybody? I am Jason of Jason's Realm here, and today I am here with a shorter video once again. You know, assignments being tough and deadlines and all that fun stuff. Uh, but I figured I would take just a couple minutes here, break down some of the latest USFL news. Some stuff has been leaking slowly but surely, but right now we have a whole bunch of stuff relating to the USFL. Probably about half a page worth, so it's not going to take too, too long to break through this. Let's just go right into it. But before I start, don't forget to smash like, smash subscribe, all that fun stuff, and yeah. Let's just jump right into this. So, all of the Season 1 games will be played in one hub city, which has been known. That city just earlier or just yesterday being revealed to be officially Birmingham. There have been a lot of suspicions, but officially it is a uh, protective stadium in Birmingham. Uh, NBC and Fox will simultaneously broadcast the, ga the first game uh, for the USFL, which that game is actually... Going to take place at 7:30 p.m. on Saturday, April 16th. I'm going to try to stream that if I can. I should be free at that time, so hopefully I can. Uh, it'll be between the New Jersey Generals and the Birmingham Stallions. So we don't know what those teams are going to look like, but there will be a player selection meeting uh, between uh, February 22nd and 23rd, which that'll really help to settle the teams. Uh, with training camps opening on the 30 or on the 21st of March. Each team will carry a 38-man active roster with a 7-player practice squad, which means you're looking at roughly 280 active players at any given time, significantly smaller than the NFL, which carries, like, I think 1,500 active players, about 50-some 50, 50 players per team, over 32 teams. That translates to about 1,500, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so, yeah. But that means it's going to be very interesting to see how they carry their active roster with less players. But I think that definitely the Hub City is going to save the league some a significant portion of money, and it'll make the league a bit more successful, have a bit more money to start, and things will be getting going. With that, they'll be able to make more money with a lower investment and then be able to go next year into all these different markets and have their game. It's there. Now, this means that Birmingham is going to be a big, booming place this year. So, yeah, hopefully the, uh, hopefully Birmingham has the ability to do, handle that, which they should because of them working with the USFL. But I'm looking forward to doing a bunch of USFL content this spring uh, as it is the inaugural season of the USFL, reformed, I should say. And, yeah, I mean, there's not really that much else. A bunch of head coaches have been released. Uh, and I've been... Main named, I should say. Uh, we won't really know too much more until the end of February, whenever rosters get dropped uh, after the player selection meeting, and we'll get to see how these teams start looking going into training camp. And I'm hoping to do power rankings beforehand. I don't know how I'll be able, how well I'll be able to do it because not really seeing teams play is going to be very hard to do, but we get to try. Uh, I also have the full 32 team power rank rankings coming out at the end of the season after the Super Bowl. So we have a lot of stuff coming up soon for the channel. It's just currently we're in a bit of a dry area as there's not really that much news other than Sean Payton stepping down, um, Brady potentially retiring. But there's nothing really big enough for me to say, hey, I'm going to dedicate a whole video to this because I can't really, you know, take the full, I can't really elaborate enough, I should say, to make it a full video. Uh, I'll make mention of it whenever I can, but yeah. Uh, we are also looking to streaming the conference championship games that you can maybe make out on the calendar. So that Sunday is going to be, this Sunday is going to be a big Sunday for football. Uh, and yeah, I've just been babbling on, but yeah. Uh, don't forget to smash like, smash subscribe, ring the bell, all that fun stuff. Uh, on the road to 150, yada, yada, yada. And yeah. I guess I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out and have a good one.